Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> Frank's Red Hot Sauce, Your Majesty. I put that, that on so everything. Hot. I'm almost out. So long, I'm That doesn't worry me. I know I handle some things immaturely. I know that I need to grow in maturity. I ain't gonna walk on these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. That doesn't work for me. Yo, my mind is a house with walls covered in pain. See, my problem is I don't fix things. I just try to repaint, cover them up like it never happened. Say, I wish I could change. Are you confused? Come upstairs and I'll show you what I mean. This one's full of regret. What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Shredding Sightless. Welcome to the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure the alert notification bell is rung. So in today's workout, I did shoulders, traps, and triceps. The only thing I did not include in this footage was a superset of tricep dips and I supersetted that with overhead tricep extensions with a single dumbbell. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about intermittent fasting and doing fasted cardio. So, um, this is what I think and what I have found from my research, you know, looking at other people's videos and um, especially Jeff Nippard's uh, video on this where he, he references a lot of scientific-based studies. But, I personally think that intermittent fasting can be beneficial to someone who is trying to lose weight. And, you know, for example, if they fast until 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then stop eating at 8.30 at night, it's going to shorten their window of the time that they have to consume calories, increasing their chances of being in a caloric deficit, which is going to, you know, therefore make them lose weight. So in that case, I think it can be very beneficial. But as far as fasted cardio, fasted workouts, and burning more fat when, uh, yeah, burning more fat when you do fasted cardio, I do not personally think so. And, you know, when it comes to a fasted workout, I don't think so at all. Um, in fact, you know, I think when you consume some calories to give you more energy during your workout, you can have a higher quality workout rather than being fasted, and that is going to benefit you more than working out in a fasted state. You are not going to burn more fat just because you are fasted and you are training. So that is what I think. You know, Now, sometimes I will go into the gym and work out in a fasted state, but um, you know, it just depends if I wake up and if I'm super hungry or if I'm not hungry at all. And, you know, for me personally, I would rather eat before my workouts. Now, you got to remember what works for person A might not work for person B. Everybody is different. Everybody's body is different. So always keep that in mind as well and enjoy the rest of the video. I just finished up with my workout for today. I did shoulders, traps, and just a little bit of triceps. And now... Instead of coming back later, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my 30 minutes of cardio. Um, I did 30 minutes Sunday, I'm gonna do it Tuesday, and then again Thursday, so kind of switched it up rather than Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but gonna do 30 minutes on the stair stepper. These was just laying, laying down there. He'll probably take him a 30 minute nap. <laughs> and if you guys wonder how I know how to turn on the machine, it's not like treadmills or anything are in braille, so there's actually these little, like the same things I use on a microwave, there's these little dots, but someone actually ripped off one of the dots on the quick start button, um, so luckily the sticky that the dot left behind is still there, so. Right, there it is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the sticky still on it, you can feel it, and then you hit it, Woo! We're good to go. And then these little tabs are up and down, so I usually go about right there, I think. Nope. One more down. So there we go. Thirty minutes of cardio. Let's get it. I'm done with cardio. But it looks like I done the weather again because it's pouring down rain. Let's go, Bob. Ford. Oh my god! 
diesel. You're full of beans too. All right, let's go. You ready? Kill. Laura, Laura, get in! Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're still in my car. What? That was funny. You d Why did you get your camera wet? Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's been raining for two days and now it's like, How do you think? looks like Hurricane Darlene did come this way. Yeah. I'm not driving it. I, I don't know. Oh my god, we're going to be waiting before we go inside. <sighs> I was already drenched from cardio, like I was soaked, but it doesn't really matter. So we're back inside from the monsoon, it lightened up, but I got like soaked from just running to the car. Like It was like 10 feet. But one of you guys, one of my subscribers, Alan, uh, Remote Tenor, sent me, asked if he could send me a package, but he said there's two parts and it's not gonna make sense if, until I get both of them. So yesterday I got, where's it at? I got these, which is, hmm. Some stainless steel funnels, which when I took this out of the package, I obviously knew it was like, some sort of funnel but you know which is cool I can use funnels to like yeah you know, I can use them in the kitchen but he said it wouldn't make sense until I got both things in so today I got something else and I'm gonna open it up and see if I know what it is I don't know I couldn't think of what you would need funnels and it's some kind of powder maybe Red hot Frank's. Frank's Red Hot. Oh my god. That is so awesome. I think I'm almost out. Unless my mom got me. Oh, you are the bomb.com. Huh? He sent you a huge. Look, this, I've already went through like, on this, the first four weeks of prep, I've already went through. Do I have another one? Mm -mm. I've already went through two or three bottles. Look at this. Oh my god. That is like so awesome. I cannot believe that you sent me this. Now it makes sense. You're right. Oh, I would never like I was thinking I'm like, what could I use a funnel? Like what do I need with the funnel? Like that's like a gallon of Frank's Red Hot. Is it a gallon? Let me get I oh, don't know, I got off my finger. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. Is it say a gallon? Yep, one gallon. Ooh, that was like the last thing I expected. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. But I'm back home and for my post workout grub, you already know we're gonna have some turkey. some ground turkey, 93.7 ground turkey. I can't get the lid back on. There we go. Righty tighty left loosey. 97 percent lean ground turkey and like eight ounces of that two servings of rice uh, so basically two servings of ground turkey two servings of rice and uh i'm gonna have avocado an avocado it's got like a flat spot in it they're getting this off so yeah and avocado i'm gonna have a whole avocado for myself and of course I'm gonna put some Frank's Red Hot in my turkey. Thank you, baby cakes. Hey, good looking. Hey, hey good looking. What you got what cooking? What you got cooking? I'm about cooking something up with me. So there we have it. Eight ounces of ground turkey, two servings of white rice, and of course I got some Frank's Red Hot on my ground turkey and I'm not gonna be running out anytime soon thank you so much Alan that was like the last thing that I expected you were gonna send me and I had no clue when I was like I was like why did he send me funnels especially stainless steel funnels I was just really I was really really confused and then when I like took it out of the box and shook it I already knew so thank you so much 
you're amazing. That is like an awesome, awesome surprise and gift. So um, I'm about to eat this up, and it's going to be yum yum in my tum tum. And uh, yeah. Come on, Miss Hazel. Get busy, Bobo. Goodness gracious. Bye, Hey, you home. Stay safe from the wild Martians. Come on, Diesel. Let's go eat. Both of us, we both get dinned in. Come on. Are you ready for your steak dinner? You ready for your steak? Okay. Woohoo! Yum yum in your tum tum. Woohoo! Yum yum in your tum tum. I told him he was having steak. So what I'm going to be having is I'm going to have eight ounces of tilapia, but the way I'm going to fix it is it was frozen and then so I put it in this pan. You got to have, just remember, put the lid on there. Rule number one, savor the flavor. But I got eight ounces of tilapia. Oh, it smells so good. And the secret combination is a few spritz of butter spray and the special sauce. But you put all that in there and just kind of let it simmer, sizzle, and soak. And then um, put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. And savor the flavor. Along with my fish, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have I'm going to have about 400 grams of sweet potatoes and the way I like to eat my sweet potatoes, like my favorite way, especially, you know, it's still, it's delicious, it's nutritious. God, I'm knocking all kinds of stuff on the floor. That ain't cinnamon. It's delicious, it's nutritious, and it's scrum diddly I don't think that's cinnamon. Oh, this has got to be it. Yep. So, the way I like to fix it is... I get my sweet potatoes, so I'm gonna have two basically. I'll show you guys. Right there, I put them in a bowl and I smush them up with the fork. And then I take cinnamon, little pro tip, cinnamon's super, super strong. So I plug up pretty much all the holes and I do like three shakes. So I do like, uh, uh, and then, uh one of those on the end okay and then oh yeah i smell it a little bit of zero calorie butter spray to add a little bit of uh-huh this and the butter spray kind of helps to like for it to smush up and then you just smush it all together get all the goodness together and it's really delicious Definitely the way I like to eat my sweet potatoes, so I'm going to have that and the tilapia, which is cooking in the Frank's Red Hot. And then a little bit later tonight, I'm going to have another two servings of rice and another two servings or eight ounces of ground turkey. But that is going to end the video. That is going to end today's vlog and another episode of Shredding Sightless. About seven and a half weeks until we get on stage. I didn't weigh in this morning, but I'm starting to really, you know, it's making a difference since I adjusted my macros last week. It's really starting to come off. The fat's coming off. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. That means a lot. Please hit the thumbs up button. If it's your first time stopping in on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure the alert notification bell is rung. And as always, guys, thank you all for the support. Thank you all so much for watching and keep Getting stronger.